For you beginner tuners, get used to doing that over and over and over again. That is one thing that you will always be doing is going into your CBT, changing your weights, and making adjustments inside of there. Anyways, let's go ahead and roll the intro and get into the moto vlog. Well, there you have it. The number one thing you will be doing on your Honda Ruckus as a tuner. I don't know. I'm pretty sure I can get a lot of comments about how true that is because you're going to have to go in and out, change weights, change uh, weights, and then uh, sometimes even have to change your weights. So, you know. That's the reason why you'd be in your CBT all the time. Uh, that's where you're going to get your most gains. I guess the second thing that I must with the most as a new tuner, or as a tuner period, is your carburetor. It seemed like I was always trying to find a jet, and at the same time I was always cleaning it out. Um, I don't know why I was always cleaning out. I think it might have had to do with because I was using a velocity stack, and I guess a velocity stack pulls in a lot more dirt and stuff, but that doesn't explain why I would have to clean my jets, because the air gets mixed into the fuel after the jets. Oh, uh, maybe I used bad gas? I don't know. It just always seemed like I always had to clean the carburetor out, and then rejet. Now, it took a while to find the right jet. Um, for a while I ran with 83, and at higher speeds I would get like crazy pops and stuff, and I thought that was, you know, you know supposed to happen. Uh, apparently that's not true. I mean, it's not supposed to pop or snap or make any noises at all. Uh, and I ended up landing on, what am I on, 80? Or 81? I think I'm at 81, so I don't even remember anymore. And I just changed the carb. I just cleaned the carb out, well I changed the carb too, like a few days ago, or a week ago. Golly, it feels like a few days ago, but it was a week ago. But yeah, I think that would be my, the second thing I messed with the most in my CVT. I mean, it, on, on my Hunter Ruckus. It is the second most thing I messed with my, my Hunter Ruckus. Sorry, I'm tired this morning. I got a, I didn't get very good sleep last night. Or did I get very good sleep and I'm just still sleepy? See, I don't even know why I'm tired or how I'm tired right now. Right, Burger Bell? Anyways, thanks, Burger Bell. I'm wearing my uh, new Bell helmet today. I've been having issues with the positioning of the mic. Hopefully the positioning of the mic is better today. It seems like the further I move the mic away from my face, the better it is and the less crackling I get. Um... This new helmet obviously seals better than my previous helmet, so it's uh, not giving me any issues. I mean, it's giving me issues because it seals too well and all that stuff. Also, at the same time, there's airflow in here, and I don't know where that airflow is coming from. It's weird. There's airflow in the... Uh, all the vents are shut off, but I'm getting airflow everywhere. At the same time this morning, guys, I'm doing an experiment. I have uh, my 5.5 gram weights in here, and uh, and a 7 gram weight, <laughs> 7 gram weights. I just want to see what it's like. It may or may not get me any good results, but I'm certainly at a lower RPM than I was before. Uh, what's another thing that I mess with? I always check my air tire pressure too. Let me tell you a story. If you've watched my videos long enough, you'll know what I'm talking about. In the beginning, when I bought this Ruckus, I couldn't go past like 40, 40 miles per hour. I was excited with 40 miles per hour, but I couldn't go faster than 40 miles per hour, and I was wondering why. And then I 
check the card, I checked the CVT, I did this, I did that, I bought these things, bought those things, and I was like, yay, let me go faster. Same thing, if not worse, at some point in time. So, what was it? It was my air tire pressure. Oh my gosh. Chris and all these people on the Hunter Rockets group on Facebook. Like, check your air tire pressure. Like, that's ridiculous. It's not messed up. My air tire pressure is great. I don't feel any weird bumps and blah blah blah. I don't know. It was like, literally it was like 8 psi. Like, if I could see myself sitting on it, which I can't see my front tire half the time, um, it would have been dipping. As soon as I pump that sucker up, I got three miles per hour. Believe it or not. And this is before the CDI. So that was pretty freaking amazing right then and there. So I guess it's the second, the third thing that I kind of make sure and check all the time is my air tire pressure. Whoa, lots of traffic up ahead. So I wanted to share the three things I always check whenever I ride my Honda Ruckus. Or I'm always checking. Three things that I'm always checking. I'm always checking my CVT, make sure it's clean, clear, and has proper weights. And I don't think it'll ever end with me adjusting the weights in here. Because <laughs> I'm telling you right now, I'm at 5.5 and 7 gram weights. And I accelerate a little slower, but I still take off really quick. So I'm assuming that that's the, the, the light and clutch bell. Gotta work on that light and flywheel. Anyways, excitement. So, I hope that you guys can agree if you check the same things I check. If you don't check the same things I check all the time, well, then let me know. I want to know what it is. Maybe I can add it to my list or replace something on my list with something that's better to check. Anyways, thank you for watching. Hopefully the audio comes out good on this and we can make a video because I'm really tired of recording and having to throw away the footage because I sound like I'm screaming at everyone and making the micro mic microwave the microphone crackle. So be sure to like, be sure to subscribe, right, Burger Bell? And I will see everybody in the next video.